Hey learners, today we are going to talk about socially responsible marketing. In today's topic, we will try to first identify to understand the concept of socially responsible marketing and its implications in the tourism. And in today's topic also, we will try to uh, know about the critical concepts which are there in socially responsible marketing and the various implications that how this social marketing uh, responsible marketing concept can be applicable to the tourism and hospitality sectors. We will try to know about the uh, numerous agencies uh, in this socially responsible marketing also and what can be its business implications. Dear learners, the tourism industry operates in an environment where there is increasing competition for both revenue and customer. The conclusion is simple. Those who market will do better. The same hold for socially responsible marketing. As I have already told you that today we will try to explain the need and importance of the socially responsible marketing and how the marketing tools are used to achieve optimal uh, results and that's true in the tourism and hospitality domain. Dear learners, first let's recapitulate about marketing and uh, what is our understanding and what is meant by this marketing. Dear learners, marketing means designing an organization's product in terms of uh, the needs and desires of the targeted market and then using effective means of uh, promotion, distribution and service. And dear learners, we need to focus on three aspects which are relevant to the marketing the objectives, the exchange process and the customer. In the traditional marketing uh, model, the exchange relationship involves mutual benefits and the identification of the customer and objectives are profit through customer satisfaction. This is how the marketing model relates to marketing activity. The customer is the person who pays for these uh, products or tourism products or services and marketers then plan the traditional four P's and additional P's that relate to the tourism and service industries. In terms of these requirements of uh, the target market, this leads to a mutually beneficial uh, exchange process and fulfillment of the objectives of the organization like profits. Dear learners, let's try to uh, have a look on the topic socially responsible marketing. Dear learners, this marketing philosophy that a company should take into consideration. What is in the best interest of the society in the present and the long term? Noted scholar Philip Cutler has differentiated between marketing and social marketing in the following ways. Social marketing differs from other areas of marketing only concerning the objectives of the marketers and his or her organization. Social marketing seeks to influence social behaviors not to benefit the marketers but to benefit the target audience and in general the society. Its sponsors simply wish to make the society a better place not merely benefit themselves or their organization but do we understand from this distinction the important point that emerges is that in social marketing the marketing activity of the organization is not to be seen as a purely commercial activity as other objectives are involved this is not to say that this aim is not to make profit the organization can and does make a profit, but there are other equally important objectives involved. Therefore, an organization or group involved in socially responsible marketing has multiple objectives and each of the objective is of equal importance. Dear learners, let's have an overview of the social responsible marketing. It is critical of excessive consumerism and environmental damages caused by corporations. It is based on the idea that market offerings must not be only profit driven, but they must also reinforce social and ethical values for the benefits of citizens. The idea of social responsible marketing is sometimes viewed as an extension to the concept of the corporate social innovation 
responsibility popularly known as csr it is promoted as a business model to help companies self regulate recognizing that their activities impact an assortment of stakeholders including the general public csr is sometimes described in terms of a pyramid starting with economic as its base then legal then ethical then philanthropic actions at the top it is in the last two layers of the csr pyramid ethical and philanthropic that socially responsible marketing opportunities appear the greatest meeting the first two layers economic and legal are necessary for the business to thrive in order to engage in the latter two socially responsible marketing and ethical social responsibility in marketing is often discussed with ethics the difference between the two is that what's considered ethical in terms of business society and individually may not be the same thing nor do all business actions necessarily have to be socially responsible in order to be considered ethical some view point of socially responsible behavior expose that the qualifying marketing actions not simply meet the minimum ethical guidelines of businesses but voluntarily exceeded them the advertising standards authority in the uk has laid down some rules which suggest that all marketing communication should be socially responsible therefore any content which is irresponsible or incites such behavior from the audience can be brought to the action brought to the concern of the authority a variety of such topics can be like this like alcohol violence objectification body image drugs tobacco etc fall under the socially irresponsible category when used inappropriately by the marketers as a response to mainstream marketing social responsible marketing emerged as a response to questionable marketing practices that has or that are having a adverse effect on the society the major economic criticism that the conventional private marketing system receives from are as follows one mainstream marketing strategies generally lead to high prices due to the size of the chain of intermediaries in marketing the distribution of the commodities to consumer cost a lot as a result individuals pay high premiums for the goods and services they receive second contemporary marketing relies heavily on aggressive marketing and promotion in order to offset the cost companies charge higher prices through excessive markups number 3 product differentiation is one of the most commonly used marketing tool but this not only creates an artificial psychological value attached to higher priced brands but also raises environmental concerns about packaging as such social responsible marketing rejects all the deceptive marketing practices in pricing promotion and packaging even if they may seem technically legal in addition to the economic implications marketing exerts a significant impact on the values of the society the advocates of socially responsible marketing they argue that the current system creates false bonds and creates people to buy more and more naturally they need inject constant desire for material possessions and leads to excessive spending too much obsession with material goods in the long run may cause damage to the society as a whole corporate profit should not eclipse the collective benefit of the society thus socially responsible marketing draws attention to the social cost that are embedded in the marketing selling and consumption of private commodities it calls for a marketing system that contributes to social and environmental sustainability while producing profits for businesses dear learners there are several related marketing concepts that fall under the umbrella of social responsible marketing 
and these concepts they include social marketing cause related marketing environmental or green marketing environment pioneer marketing where environment and entrepreneurship both are together quality of life and socially responsible buying social responsibility covers many things and some sections of the code uh, by specific countries have a specific rule concerning social responsibility in a particular sector the following topics and issues should be considered to ensure that advertising is not socially responsible like we have already told about alcohol drugs tobacco gambling murdering body image children and targeting objectification even the balance a socially responsible marketing model the use of traditional market model is not adequate in describing socially responsible marketing because the exchange process is more complex there are two equally important exchanges between the customer and the organization the exchange of money and the exchange of information and communications which exists multiple constituents and the organization has multiple objectives other than that of monetary gain therefore a more complex model is required which should incorporate the following points and these points are like this one is Uh, multiple objectives the primary distinction in social responsible marketing lies in the objectives what are these multiple objectives scholar kindorf said that the goal is to develop a new form of tourism the common goal must be to develop and promote new forms of tourism which will bring the greatest possible benefits to all participants travelers the host population and the tourist business without causing intolerable ecological and social damage shapiro has classified the marketing needs of organization dealing with socially responsible objectives into three areas one is resource attraction generation of profits and money b persuasion for example use of communication to change attitude lifestyle and c is resource allocation allocating the funds generated not only to the shareholders and businesses partners but to put back the funds into the furthering the socially responsible objectives of the enterprise the second is in this model is the exchange process persuasion is an important process in socially responsible marketing therefore the exchange relationship in socially responsible marketing it involves the additional aspects of communication and information as you can see from the model this is a two way process hence a very well it is known as exchange process information is obtained from the consumer and the target market to ascertain how much of the social objectives of the organization have been understood by the target market based on the data obtained the communication mix by the organization is prepared this communication process involves the exchange of communication regarding the efficiency and effectiveness of the work of the organization the message can be delivered to the target market by printing the mission of the organizations on posters pamphlets or brochures in the information exchange process the organization actively seek the views of the general public and its customers into their level of awareness about the objectives of the organization and its work number 3 is multiple constituents in responsible tourism these would be the tourist the host population and the destination region the environment and ecological and cultural aspects socially uh, responsible marketing emerged as a response 
to the questionable marketing practices that have adverse effect on society the major economic criticism that the conventional private marketing system receives from everybody are as follows one is the mainstream marketing strategies generally lead to high prices due to the size of the chain of intermediaries in marketing the distribution of commodities to consumers cost a lot as a result individuals they have to pay high premium for goods and services that they receive number 2 we have already discussed that contemporary marketing rely heavily on aggressive marketing and promotion in order to offset the cost companies charge higher prices through excessive markups and number 3 again we if we discuss is about it is product differentiation is one of the most commonly used marketing tools but this not only creates an artificial psychological value attached to high price brands but also raises environmental concern about packaging as such social responsible marketing rejects all such kind of deceptive marketing practices in pricing promotion and packaging even if they seems technically maybe legal in addition to the economic implications marketing exerts a significant impact on the values of the society the advocates of social responsible marketing the time and time again they argue about the current system creates uh, the, the wants which are not feasible they create something which is not required by the society and they try to create such kind of obsession amongst the people for what for the material goods which in longer run is not good for the society so what does it mean it means that this corporate profit should not eclipse the collective benefits of the society thus social marketing that draws attention to the social cost that is embedded in the marketing selling and conceptions of private communities it calls for marketing system that contributes to socially and environmental sustainability while producing profits for different businesses dear learners let's have a look on the concept of social responsible marketing in tourism social responsibility of business implies that the businessman decisions and actions are taken for reasons at least partially beyond the firm's direct economic and technical interests social responsible marketing generally understood to the way an organization achieve a balance between economic environmental and social imperative while they address the exception if stakeholders and shareholders it is generally accepted that business firms have social responsibilities that extend well beyond what in the past was commonly referred to simply as the business economic functions social responsibility in marketing is important because the practice involved focusing efforts on attracting consumer who want to make a positive difference with their purchases recyclable packages promotion that spread social awareness and portions of profits that benefit charitable groups are example of social responsibility strategies social responsibility demands that marketers accept an obligation to give equal weight to profit consumer satisfaction and social well-being in evaluating their firm's performance and they must recognize the importance of relatively qualitative consumer and social benefits as well as the quantitative measures of sale revenue and profit by which firms have traditionally measured marketing performance dear learners social responsible marketing philosophies policies procedures and actions that have the enhancement of society's welfare as a primary objective social responsibility allow for easier measurement then marketing ethics 
government legislation can mandate social responsible actions. Consumer activism can also promote social responsibility by businesses. Actions alone determine social responsibility and firm can behave responsibly. Even under coercion, government requirement may force firm to take socially responsible actions in matter of environmental policy, deceptive product claims and other related areas. Also, consumer through their power to repeat or withhold purchases may force marketer to provide honest and relevant information and fair prices. Ethically responsible behavior on the other hand require more than appropriate actions. Ethical intentions must also motivate those actions. Many companies have adopted socially responsibility strategies in marketing as a mean to help the community or produce services and products that benefit society. For example, marketing departments may launch a campaign that encourages consumers to buy a bundle of uh, stocks versus one pair and the company in turn donate, donates a bundle of stocks to military uh, personnel overseas or to homeless shelters in the community. As a result of such generous donations, the company brands itself as socially responsible and ethical, which ultimately attracts customers who are engaged in socially responsible commitments and who want to support the welfare of the community. Social responsibility goes hand in hand with social responsibility practices. For example, administrator, executives and shareholders and stakeholders must practice ethical behaviors and join the community in promoting responsible marketing efforts. Putting on appearances or greenwashing, the practice of deceptively promoting environmentally friendly processes or products indicates to customer that the company is not committed to social responsibility and can ultimately hurt the brand and the company's success in the market. Consumers often do their research and can see through gimmicks and slogans that are not genuine. Although an initial investment may be involved to split portions of profits or donate to those in need, Social responsibility in marketing promotes a positive company image which can significantly impact productivity and profitability. Temporarily, in earlier times, that managers in most cases had only to concern themselves with the economic results of their decisions. Today, the managers must also consider and weight the legal, ethical, moral and repercussion of each of their decisions. All companies have to ensure that their activities do not adversely affect the environment. Depletion of natural resources available in the area like forest or groundwater is a case in point. Recovery of heat or minerals from the flu gases or effluent reduces pollution and the consumption of scarce resources while uh, saving money. Atmospheric pollutions affect the health of the people and so must be minimized. Law relating to the environment should be observed both in letter and spirit. After a comprehensive study of competitor strategy and integral policy review performed, a comparison can be drawn and a strategy developed for competition socially responsible marketing initiatives. It is important that everyone involved in the tourism sector contributes to the achievement of a highly competitive tourism product. The product that could be attractive on the global level and give a destination the possibility to compete internationally. Otherwise, the development of a sustainable tourism product would be impossible. However, the question is how to make this kind of a unique tourism product 
or what does a unique tourism product consist of? The answer to this question is not easy. If we think of a tourism product as intangible, then the destination should offer something to assure the best possible experiences. This brings an even greater concerns to the questions of what kind of product today's tourist will accept. Being aware of the growing ecological and societal consciousness of today's people, creator of the tourism product should focus more on creating a sustainable tourism product, which will be sustainable in the long run. Hotel companies as well as the tour operators have a very, very, very important role in defining and creating the tourism product. Destinations are characterized by the comparative advantage. But hotel companies and tour operators are among those creating the competitiveness of a destination. Making a tourism destinations more competitive is of mutual benefit for hotel companies and the tour operator companies as well as and the tourism destination. Sustainable tourism should make optimal use of environmental resource. Respect the socio-cultural authenticity of host community and ensure viable long-term economic operations providing socio-economic benefits to all stakeholders. Sustainable tourism development requires the informed participation of all relevant stakeholders as well as strong political leadership to ensure wide participation and conscious building. As such, a sustainable tourism product should be a product which integrates the core elements of sustainable tourism development. A product which respects the environment and society and is economically sustainable. As a part of community-oriented tourism, many new concepts are involved. Festival calendar is one such product which gives full ideas about the festivals and their history. The destination profile, destination directory and resource mapping gives good picture about the place and the wide opportunity of tourism. With the Cooperation of hotel and resort groups and amount of amount of maybe the a good number is invested to solve the drinking water problem in the area is a part of the social responsibility aspects of the responsible tourism. Destination label directory, study on social problems evolved in village tourism or rural tourism and its solution, infrastructure gap assessment, security issues in the areas and its solutions are generally functioned. Dear learners, if we have to sum up, social responsible marketing is becoming increasingly important if we wish to keep the activity of tourism in harmony with the environment and in harmony with the community practices. This is a complex task since the objective of responsible tourism are multiple and coordination between the various stakeholder, various agencies is involved. Thank you very much.